When you think of Hudson Soft, your mind probably automatically just defaults to the Mario Party series, but they actually did make a fair number of games outside of Mario Party. They made Bonk's Adventure, they made the Adventure Island games, the Bomberman series, and one of those other games that's a little less known but still well regarded in its console is, well, Felix the Cat, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Felix the Cat, if those who probably don't know, is one of, if not the most iconic uh, character in cartoon history, right next to like Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, and all that stuff, just because of just the history that he had. I never actually grew up watching Felix. I actually didn't even like Felix a whole lot when I first actually took a look at his cartoons. I don't know why, as a kid, I felt like maybe that they were just a little too surreal or just a little too abstract or weird for me. And I always defaulted more to like the, the Popeye cartoons and uh, some other things like Mary Melodies and all that stuff. But still, this is actually a pretty quality uh, game. This will be for both the Game Boy and the, or the Game Boy Color, I should say, and the NES. And honestly, it's probably one of the best NES games out there, and that's saying something. Honestly, I, I never actually grew up with this game. It's actually a game that I only recently played around the last year or a year before that for the, the, the Twitch channel. And from what I played, it, I really enjoyed it quite a bit. But I might as well go th through the game, as you can see, uh, just it's a simple 2D platformer. You go around, you collect tokens to get some hearts to level up Felix, you get milk for points, and you just get to the end of the level and reach the goal. The story of this game, which is actually based off the colored iteration of Felix after he was uh, brought back, I think for the second time since his black and white cartoons kind of fell into a ditch and were never seen again, is the fact that the professor, uh, who is an arch enemy of Felix in the in that series, wanted to get Felix's magic bag, so he stole Felix's girlfriend to try and coax Felix to come out so he can steal the bag. The bag is, a, I guess you could say, sort of a controversial thing with Felix, just because, well, a lot of people like it, a lot of people didn't. It's it's something. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's something. Here, up here, take out these guys, and just basically breeze our way right through this first level. As we do see in the background, sometimes you'll see the professor's face, or sometimes you'll see Kitty's face going, Felix Hart, basically calling out to him to come and rescue her. But Felix is just a little too busy being distracted by a flower. Now, it is actually really good and really important to collect as many tokens as we can, because after a certain number of tokens, as you saw earlier, get some milk. Milk that I actually can't get right now. And I just died and lost my tank. Well, I guess I can now uh, properly explain what the tokens do, You, as you were probably, if you weren't paying attention earlier. Collecting a set number of tokens gets you a heart. The heart upgrades Felix. You get more health, and also you upgrade your bag of tricks to some new abilities. First one was a little punching glove inside the bag, and the second one is sort of like a, a, a dazzling magic show, I guess Felix does. He just dazzles his enemies with stars. I would say uh, it's this is probably the second best ability that he has on the field. The tank is, well, a tank, but it, its lobbing shots are just not that good, to be honest. They're kind of bad. Now, this, the best ability for on the ground is if we can get a couple more tokens. I think we only need, like, one more for the heart. Two more for the heart. There we go. Here it is. The car. I, I love this because it's, it's a good low-range attack. Yeah, it's not as far as the tank shots, but it doesn't lob it, so it's easier to hit enemies that are right in front of you. And also, I just like the fact that you, you literally attack enemies by beating your horn at them. And yes, you can also juggle enemies if you're good enough. What you're not good enough to do while inside a car is, well, platforming, because of course, you're in a car. Go through here, get some more milk. Might as well get ourselves the tank. I thought there was like a one-up hidden in here somewhere. I might be thinking of something else. Oh well. Nope, nope. There's some milk at least. Just hop on over 
these guys and dodge them, dodge the little tree ants down here. Yeah, damn it. Thought I was able to bounce past him to not get hit, but you know what? I'm actually glad we went back to the car anyways because, well, it saves me the trouble of having to judge my shot's distances with the tank shells. Rune 1 3. Felix is still looking at that flower. You really should get on to helping his girlfriend. She's gonna be very upset that he prioritized looking at a flower over rescuing her. Right. Actually, probably would be better for me to get the tank instead of the car for this kind of level. dazzling show. Of course, I was only one token away from getting the tank, which is just a, another uh, uh, salt in the wound. But it's honestly better to do the magic show instead of the car for this, just because it's easier to hit the birds that are going to get in the way of my jumping abilities. Here we go. Pink. Up and over these guys. Take care of the only one that seems to shoot at you. And I'm just not gonna even bother with the. Oh no, wait, there's more of the little witty guys that they that shoot at you. I'm just not even gonna bother with the the, the token back there. We still got plenty. Excuse me, sir. That was rude. Why would you do that? Tank back. And almost immediately lose it. And we should actually be coming up on the end of the level. Yep, there we go. So, when you see the magic bag that has the professor's face over it, go down into it. And into the boss fight. This is the professor's nephew, literally named Poindexter. It, it, it's really stupid. And he's honestly a really easy boss to deal with, especially if you have the car. You just stay here and beat the horn at him like you're stuck in traffic. And he will not hit you. I just got really bad with the first one just because, I, well, I had the tank. I couldn't really directly fire right at him. I had to lob my shots, like always. Don't worry, kitty. I'm on my way. Felix, World 2. Dog chase after the briefcase. Welcome to the first of what is actually a good number of flying stages. As you can see, our, our power's reset, but thankfully we uh, had enough tokens to immediately go back to the first power. Nice, way to go, me. Y you did a good job. Let's see if I can actually get a another power around here somewhere. I thought you were actually a, a one if I hit you. Huh, guess not. Alright, well, just dodge the cannon fire. You use our... Our little umbrella to just float through the sky without a care in the world. And get put by a bird. And of course, once again, I get hit by an enemy and it's the, the hit that kills me that I am literally one token away from getting my upgrade. You know, I'm just gonna fly in here. get our other power up, and that turns our hot air balloon into a plane. The plane's definitely a lot faster because, well, it being a plane and all, maybe too fast at times, but uh, honestly, I kind of prefer the hot air balloon with its little uh, drop of the discs. Heading to the pyramid to the goal. Right. 
So the pyramid here, a bit of a maze level, I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of bats, a lot of small enemies, so it's actually better to have the car than it is to have the tank. Honestly, with this, anything's better than having the tank. He says as he waits to get the token to get the tank. Although I probably should get the tank just so I can get the health upgrade that comes along with it, because I'm actually running pretty low on hearts. That is the wrong way. Oh, I didn't know you could actually destroy those. I thought they were just there to g uh, give you more incentive to not go that way. Okay, one more. Two more. There we go. Alright, and we got some more hearts, and we got ourselves our tank. Let's just continue on our merry way. And as you can see, why I hate using the tank so much. I mainly just wanted to get the tank so I could get the hearts that come with it, but... The tank is not a good power-up for this kind of level with all these small enemies all over the place. Wow, that actually could have been really bad. Even the, the, uh, yeah, the little, like, uh, the little magic show that he does would also be a better alternative than the tank. Actually, it might even be better than the, the car, to be honest. Excuse me, I want to go in here. Oh, it's a fake one. There we go. Like I said, lots of small enemies in this area. It's honestly better to just try and bounce your way around them than it would be to just straight up fight them. Alright, 2-3. Might as well grab the tank for some extra hit points. Oh, I guess there's one uh, plus side to having the tank is it takes out the heads in one shot. Okay, this one actually is a bonus area. You get double the milk, nice. This is definitely not a good area for the tank, though. Okay, fine, I guess I'm... Okay, fine, I guess I am not going up. Okay, fine, guess I am staying up. Grab this, up down here. It's boss time! Once I would say it's actually good to have the tank for this fight because, dude, then he, he's never gonna reach you. I didn't even have to move for that boss fight because the tank shots just kept lobbing right over this, and he could not hit me for the life of them. Hell, I don't even think you could even get a single shot off at me. But whatever, time to get out of the pyramid and look for our girlfriend some more. But not before we have a good laugh. Ring, 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 ring. You're doing well, Felix, but soon your game will be over, Click. What's causing me at this hour? It's getting really annoying. Felix, World 3. Welcome to the mountains. This area is honestly more suited for the tank than it would be for the car or any of the other uh, bag of tricks abilities. Because there's a lot of airborne enemies for this area and a lot of like little nooks that they can just like uh, creep along. So having a lobbing shot is actually uh, a much better alternative than it would be to uh, have anything that shoots straight forward or anything that's like close distance. But also as you saw, for getting 100 tokens and also us having the tank, uh, any 100 tokens that we get gets us a 1-up. So it's a 
it's kind of good incentive to try your best to keep the tank. I just kind of prefer the, the, the way that the car plays than it does than I do with the tank. I'm honestly surprised that I did not get hit by that. Go, get another one up. Don't really have to worry a, a whole lot about the enemies here, so long as you just take it nice and slow and be careful. As I was saying, be, take it nice and slow and be careful where you jump. Go back here and get some. Nope, you can't. Oh, that's unfortunate, but I think there's a couple more up ahead. Uh, we should be stuck on the cloud. And I definitely should not have risked that. Dazzle them with our little show. Honestly, I always just call it like the, the magic trick or the, or the dazzler ability just because of the way Felix attacks with it. I guess it, he could also be like killing him with comedy. Like he, he's telling like a really bad joke that the, the enemies just straight up kill over from just having to hear it. Oh, you had to drop milk right there, huh, game? Nope, not gonna cry over spilled milk. We're just gonna go through the goal and get to the next part of the level. Ooh, you're the you're the cheap cheap level of this area, huh? I always hated the cheap cheap bridge levels in the Mario games, and now this is like it ten times worse. Oh my god. Okay. You can actually destroy the cannons as well. I think it's just really hard to find a sweet spot to actually hit them with, especially since they were introduced when we had the the plane, the hot air balloon, or the umbrella. Jeez! Oh, Always hate precision jumping in games, especially on moving platforms. Out of the way. All right, there we go. At least our, we can get our tank, and hopefully, you start getting some more lives back. Honestly, this game and it's not really hard in terms of enemy placement. The only thing you really have to worry about is, you know, falling to your death for the most part. Because especially with levels like this, where there are just so many bottomless pits, and it's really hard to judge the distance of most of your landings. Sometimes it's actually better to have a extra hit on you just so that way you can uh, just tank the hit and use that to judge the distance of where the enemy is because if the enemy is there, unless it's a bird, then you know that there's solid ground underneath them. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to worry about solid ground right now because we are now in another flying stage. So close to get ourselves a new plane, and I would love nothing more than to get it right now. There we go. There it is. Actually, take back what I said. The the plane's honestly the better of the flying options than the hot air balloon. Don't listen to me. I'm a fool. thought you could fly through there. Careful the cannon that's shooting right here in a very evil spot, but thankfully we can just literally fly over everything if we wanted to. Oh boy. I think I might want to just so I can save this plane. I might go for any tokens that I see that are not too far out of the way just because I really would like to re preserve as many tokens as I can and keep my plane with me so we can get ourselves at least a one-up. Yep. 
This is insane. I'm just flying up here. Plane ran out. Uh -oh. uh, and there went our upgrade for a new plane. I'm not so confident going into this boss fight right now, especially since I only have the punching glove on me. Can I get one upgrade? Just one? One measly upgrade! That's what, that's what I get for spending too much time looking for upgrades. There we go. I'll take the hot air balloon at the very least. I'll grab that at least. Alright, time to go fight the bus. Yeah, I kind of forgot that there were some uh, tokens in here. This boss kind of dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you can actually fight him with a boxing glove, but it's better if you had like the plane or, or the hot air balloon, because if you don't judge your speed too well, then, well, that can happen to you. It's all about faking him out. Basically, you just want to hit him, then move to the side. That way, when he shoots his laser at you, because he shoots at the altitude that you're at, you can just straight up easily avoid it. Thankfully, it, the shots have to hit Felix himself. If it hits the balloon, you're, you're still safe. Oh. Of course, I, I panicked. Oh, wait. Ah, damn it. That's why I hate the boxing glove so much. All right. Well, there's always next time. And this time, I'm actually going to be pretty fast with the plane so we can just get it and go. Unless I get shot by a cannon off screen. <sighs> What's the worst thing about the, the umbrella is just... Kind of slides through the air. It doesn't really like move in precision, which I, I get it. You're floating with an umbrella, so it's not really supposed to be easy. But still, I, I've never been a fan of ice physics. At least with this, you can uh, lob your shots instead of having to get up close and personal. Because it, it, more often than not, having to use a boxing glove to attack enemies in the flying stage and having to go right up to them, only for you to accidentally go too fast and slide right into them is what's probably going to get you killed in these kinds of stages. So actually, I kind of want to maybe go a little bit faster as soon as we get our airplane. That way we can just fly right past all the enemies, not have to worry about them. And also, we can just get to the boss in due time. So, that's what exactly we're gonna do. Just gotta watch out for the anti-air fire from the ground below. But if we're fast enough, so long as the cannon doesn't shoot the way we're flying, we should be able to avoid every single shot that gets shot at us. He says as he gets too... Uh... Too cocky and decides to go for tokens instead. That's milk. Those are playing. Let's go into the boss fight. And this time we're going to attack him from a safe distance. I 
That's fine. He's already dead, and it's actually a little bit easier to just lob the shots at him instead. Head on through to the goal, and we are out of the mountains. Welcome to the islands! It's very tropical, and also, uh, there, there's a lot of pitfalls here, as you would guess. And pelicans! Lots of pelicans! And birds! Lots and lots of birds! I would honestly say that probably having the, the, the Dazzler ability would be the better ability to have with all the bouncing birds all over the place. But I also do want to get some one ups because we are already out. I just looked down into the corner and be like, oh no. I didn't think we went through all those lives again so fast. And there goes that. Great. There we go. Get some milk. Oh, that is dirty! Alright, that thing hopped down just as soon as I get up there. Oh, there's that one up. And there's our goal. Bloop. All right, welcome to a boat stage. It's kind of like the flying stages, except the current's working against you. So if you're in the water, you'll slowly start to drift back towards the start. I think also the boat stages are the only stages where you actually get only... No, because the flying stages only have those two as well. I was gonna say that the boat stages only have two power-ups, but no, the flying stages do as well. Or maybe it's three. I think maybe the third one was a submarine, or maybe I'm just thinking of an entirely type of different stage altogether. Oh, boy. <sighs> Stupid bouncing jellyfish. There's, the perspective for these kinds of levels can actually mess with you a little bit because sometimes it looks like uh, the jellyfish is like not in, in an area where it can hit you, or the same goes for the fish as well. But it turns out that, that yeah, they can just hit you from anywhere on that side. Nope, I heard that one up. I do like that the one up sounds have a distinct sound to it. Uh, I guess most do, but honestly, when, when everything kind of like blends together and this amalgamation of noise and such, uh, having like a, a really loud and like noticeable sound effect to indicate that you got a one up is honestly a lifesaver in some of these situations. Yeah, just like that. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm gonna get sick. When in doubt, you can also just swim under the enemies by just jumping in and then going underneath where they bounce from. Or just platform above them and not have to worry about getting hit by them. I mean, we are on a dolphin after all, so of course there had to be a lot of jumping involved. In fact, dolphin swimming your way through this level is probably the best way to go. That's a different story. Ooh, I actually thought I was gonna get hit there because of the stupid punching glove. Oh, 
go get our dolphin back. And get ourselves a new one-up. Love that sound. It is the most welcoming sound you will ever hear in this game. That and also the you got through the gold sound. That's also a good sound. Okay, this is the level I was thinking of that you get a submarine in. Well, right after you get a sea turtle. It's also the level where enemies actually start to show a little bit of strength because it, these jellyfish actually take more than one hit. Not related to the jellyfish above! Oh, wait, no, the jellyfish only took one hit to die. Huh, that was weird, because I could have sworn that the one before us had, like, two or three hits before we go down. Huh, maybe it just wasn't hitting it. it. Maybe it was just, like, outside the range of my bubbles. Uh, if anything you can compare the jellyfish to, you can compare them to the bloopers. There's our submarine. The the very weird, like, Felix Cathead submarine that breathes underwater. Like, seriously, this thing actually is kind of disturbing to look at. But these torpedoes are really helpful, so I'm not gonna, you know, deny the use of it. I'm just gonna be creeped out by using it. enough to get a one up. Oh well. We're getting pretty close. <clears throat> evil placements are evil. There we go. There's something back. Honestly, it's really hard to tell the difference between the sea turtle and the submarine, well, aside from being a bigger hitbox and also well, you know, I think it given a little bit more free time to move around underwater, but I think the, the biggest notable difference is the fact that your shots actually go a lot further than they do with the bubbles. But, yeah, they, they go about uh, twice as far as the bubbles do. So, I guess uh, they're, they're more like the plane, but you could also compare the sea turtle to the car in terms of how short the shots for it are. Anyways, into the bag. It's time to fight a very weird-looking fish king boss thing. It, it, it's exactly like the robot. Got a couple of slow bubble attacks, and then he says, Broop! Out very loud, and it's very fast, so you need to be super careful and not get caught by it. I think he does, like, two bubbles and then does a broop, so you want to be uh, knowledgeable of how many attacks he's done, so that way you can prioritize hitting him over dodging him. You can also just use the the blocks right here as little cover pieces because the shots will actually go away on his end when they hit. But thankfully, not that hard of a boss fight. Honestly, I kind of had a lot more trouble with the robot. That was mainly due to the flying mechanics. And like any cat, I am happy to finally be out of the water. See? Look how happy he is. Rain, rain. Rain, it's five in the morning. What do you want? I'm getting mad, Felix. I can't control myself anymore. Click. Darn telemarketers. Felix will go into the west. Felix is about ready to shoot his bag. And by going to the west, of course, I meant prehistoric times because this definitely doesn't look like the Wild West, or at least any Wild West I've seen. But I got my car back, so that's all that really matters. Yeah, gotta be very careful with the dinosaurs around here, because they actually do kind of act like the tanks, in that their shots actually lob up into the air. Ooh, that could have been really bad. I almost didn't see it for a second because of the color scheme of this level. I guess it's supposed to be, that's supposed to be like a river of lava, that's why you see the volcanoes go, going off in the background, but it just, it, it, it's kind of ugly to look at it. Times high. There he is. There we go. 
Go to the goal. And into another air level. Where, oh, I thought that was actually just falling rocks, but no, it's these little green guys down here. I could really go for a plane right about now. Hmm, I could really go for a hot air balloon right about now. Not being able to see where these shots are coming from. Milk. I don't need milk. I don't need dairy intake. I need hot air. Preferably in balloon form. I think maybe one more token. Yep, there we go. Give me that balloon. see a token that is not too far from down below. Just because if I'm going to have to rely on the hot air balloon for this level, uh, well, for a decent bit, I'm going to need to be sure to see where the little bird dudes that are shooting off these rocks? Spiky seeds? Uh, I, I don't know exactly what they are, but whatever they are, they're very annoying to deal with. I'm going to take it nice and slow and take the low road. There we go. I saw that one up. Oh, boy. Of course. Watch, there's just going to be a couple more tokens before I would have gotten a one up, and then I'm going to be very upset and curse my spell for getting hit like that. There we go. Give me that thing. And get me the hell out of here. this one just because there's a lot of jumping enemies and a lot of enemies that are up above me. It actually would be better to just be lobbing the tank shots at them instead of trying to rely on the car horn. I don't know how I did not get hit by that guy, but I'm glad I didn't. Juggling them. There we go. Whoa. Uh, okay, good. It's actually on solid ground. I wouldn't put it past this game to hide something like that with a uh, fire pit. Oh well, boss time. It's time for Felix the Kid. I don't know why we're fighting myself in a cowboy outfit with a gun. Uh, maybe this was just something from the show. Maybe it's like there's like an evil Felix or something. Beep. 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 Get out of the road. I'm driving here. Thank you very much. Well, Felix actually does look pretty pissed off right there. He's just, when he honks the horn, he's just like, ah, oh, man, damn motorists. All right, let's go. Have ourselves a good laugh. Felix World, level kitty. Welcome to another wonder stage. It's just like the last one, except a lot colder. You actually do have to deal with ice physics, it's just I think the current picked up a little bit. You do have to deal with, uh, I think those are supposed to be narwhals? I can't tell because he's not popping his head. No, it's just giant fish. I thought for a second it was like a narwhal or something. Thank you. 
I like how if you, you don't move, Felix is literally just asleep inside his little rowboat. Come on, get it. Get it. There we go. I don't think there's anything special with the, the dolphin if you're not moving with it. Yeah, it's the same thing. bag up there so we can get some more tokens, but unfortunately, I don't think there's any bags inside water stages. I think they're only regulated to ground in sometimes air stations or, or air levels. But one good thing about the water levels is, it, seeing as how there's only two transformations, well, I guess technically one transformation in this, I don't really count the the base transformation that you get, it, it's really good to get lies if you're good and lucky and able to get through most of the level without getting hit if you get yourself a dolphin. Just gonna bob and weave under him. Oh, wait, there is a bag up here. I thought it was right. Get last so we can get one step closer to some more lives. I would like to see if I can get into double digits before we get into the final level of the game. There are two tokens away. Not good, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Oh boy. This is a really bad spot to be in right about now. Alright, jump over him! Bob under him! Hopefully we can get there we go. Give me that dolphin. And the enemy will lose the dolphin. Especially to an enemy that doesn't even attack you. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're out of the level. We're safe. Back underwater, and thankfully we still have the submarine with us. I guess because we had the sub when we left the level. Here, grab some tokens, hopefully not get hit, but if I am careful, I don't uh, aggravate the jellyfish too much with the, uh, the sea bass, I'm guessing? Eh, more of a C plus in my opinion. Uh, we should be good on getting double digit lives before we go into the final level. Hey, Professor, do you mind? Thank you. You can actually attack those things, and sometimes they'll spit out one-ups. I've been going through this entire game and not attacking them. What's wrong with me? Oh. It's that only some of them carry, uh, pick up bulls. Hey, didn't you see that guy there? I like the fact that Felix is honestly looks like he's agonizing every second being in the water, both when he's swimming without a sea turtle or when the sea turtle uh, is collected. Katie, okay, do you have anything? Please tell me you have something for me. No, you do not. Damn. Alright, well, at least we got ourselves a sub going into the boss fight. The boss fight is Robot Round 2! He shoots bubbles, and I think he only shoots bubbles. Does he shoot the laser? No, he just shoots bubbles. He's honestly a, a lot weaker version of the, than the one that we fought earlier. Okay, the bubbles are pretty frequent. He, like, shoots two at a time. I think the, the more times that you hit him, he actually shoots more and more bubbles. Yeah, this time he's shooting three at a time, four at a time. And now he's dead. 
a lot easier to deal with, mainly because I didn't have to worry about flying physics. And hey, we got 11 lives, so we hit that double digit goal. Nice. Go me. Did he have anything? Maybe not. Okay, let's get out of here. Professor, you've been calling me for a week straight. What is it? Felix, I can't stand it anymore. I'm going to smash you. Like. World 7. Poindexter, Poindexter, and Poindexter? Welcome to more snow. I actually kind of like the aesthetic of this level, mainly because of the blocks being the fish uh, frozen and ice blocks, and it's just like, help me! Help! Get me out of this frozen prison! Uh oh. Okay, it's not really ice physics you have to deal with, it's more of, it takes a mi minute to actually, like, move. Like, you need to compensate for, like, a split second longer than you normally would, just because I guess the snow is causing you to drift a little bit in it. The biggest threat of this level, not the penguins, and not the snow, it's the damn snowballs that appear out of nowhere, and, well, basically are just giant hitboxes. Oops. Hopefully that thing stays up there. And, of course, no, in my luck, it didn't. Okay, there is a little bit of ice physics with this level. But it's actually nothing too bad, to be honest. It's very manageable. Except when snowballs are involved. And I don't think you can actually destroy them, so... Definitely be careful if we have to deal with them. Especially when you have to slip and slide in one spot for a moment. Oh my god! Oh, the professor has something. Oh. There we go. He's got an F! That F was a one up! Oh boy. And I almost immediately lost that one up. A heart. Please, game, have a heart for me. I'm doing my best. Okay, there's a bag. Thank you, sweet salvation. Ooh, wow. Two hearts for me. Honestly, Danny thinks the most generous at a bag bonus area has ever been for me. Maybe I could have avoided it had I just gone under it when it bounced that one time, but oh well. This is insane with how many snowballs are in this level. Wow. Thanks, game. Really feel appreciated about that one. Okay, I can actually destroy the snowballs. I thought you had to just straight up avoid them, but I guess maybe it's just easier with, with my little dazzler power. And Kitty has nothing, so let's just go through the goal. should not have counted as me getting hit, because I had my attack going out. Okay, Professor has something for me. Oh, another one up. Nope, he's got another failing grade for me. I'm sorry, I'll do better next time, Professor! I think 
there's something special up here. Yep, there's a bag. Honestly, thought the block spelled out something, and that's what I, why I thought that uh, there was something special, not just oh hey, just more tokens. I'm not saying more tokens is a bad thing, just I figured that there'd uh, be like a little Easter egg up here that they would hide. Okay, yeah, here it is. Blocks and the token spell of Felix. I knew that there was like a little hidden Easter egg in this level, but I just didn't know exactly where. I guess my mind was just thinking too far ahead. Yep, nothing there. Heart? One up? Anything? No? Alright then. It's time for the rematch against Poindexter. He's got a thing that launches snowballs, and it's honestly very pathetic. Especially since I have the tank, and I can just destroy the snowballs as soon as he creates them, and then blow them up. He was a lot harder to deal with earlier in the game, and that's saying something. So let's just go through the goal. Huh. Weird that there's no token at the end. There's always like one token at the very end of the, of the level. Hm. Rain, 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 rain. It's been a month. What do you want? Felix, you did a good job getting here, but this will be your last, our last battle click. I swear that man's a stalker. Felix World, World 8. Felix is very angry. Welcome to space! Yeah, d didn't see that coming, did you? The professor is not actually on the planet Felix is on. He's stripping space. The spaceship, as you can see, has no upgrade. So you have to go through this in one hit. Thankfully, it's kind of generous with the, the upgrades. The only thing you have to really worry about are the little UFOs that appear out of nowhere. So definitely, definitely, definitely get as many tokens as you can to try and up your life count, just in case something bad goes on, because, like I said, I only get one hit, so you gotta make it count. Otherwise, that can happen. Also kind of feel bad for killing these aliens, but it's them or me. I mean, just, just look at them flying in. Look how happy they are. It's like the Dragon Quest line. that way. I'm going to avoid this guy. Hopefully not get hit and then grab that token. Uh oh Ah, damn it. I knew I should have bogged when I weaved. There we go, giving that one up. Definitely need it. A lot of professor heads out here, so I'm actually kind of paranoid that one of them probably has a one-up in them. No, in this game, it was probably the first one that uh, we actually came across. Oh, nope, it was that one. I was just too late on getting it. Nope, nope I'm going up. about you? Nope, not you. I guess only that one head that was back there had a one-up in it. That's a lot of UFOs. I'm just going to avoid them. Give me that. Oh boy! Of all things, that tiny rock is what killed me. Yeah, 
There we go. There's the goal. Phoenix World 9 1 Angry Professor. Welcome to what I'm guessing is supposed to be the surface of Mars, and that's where the professor set up shop. We got space bunnies to deal with, we got space octoroks just chilling out in the air. Okay. Alright, professor, I know one of your heads has a. a, a one up. Now, which one is it? Give me that F. Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, you can't actually break the rocks when you hit. That's good to know. How many hits does it take to actually break the Oh, it takes a lot. Four. Five. Five hits to break one rock. Yeah, it's definitely not worth it. And better to just strip, avoid them. For you to fall. There we go. And of course, another one had to spawn in just as soon as I made the jump. There we go. There's a professor head that has a lump in it. Give me that F. Thank you. Nine two, Professor is still angry, and we're still trekking across Mars. Ah, damn it! I panicked. When I jumped up there. there go. Give me that one up, and give me that showstopper. jumped when Felix was in between the the air and ground. God damn it. Alright, just stay right here, wait for the rock to bounce. And now go. That's what I had to do. Because the thing about this is, if you're going down like a, uh, an angle when it's sloped like that, Felix kind of hovers in between the space, uh, between the ground and the the higher ledge. So when you try to jump through doing that, I'm, it's actually probably safe. Yeah, so you, the jump doesn't register. springboard up there. And there's the goal. Finally out of this rocky hell. World 9-3, the professor is pissed! Welcome to his golden temple lab, filled with lava, of course, and it is very, very shiny. It's got bats, it's got octorox. It's got everything a cat would definitely not want to deal with. I'm hoping I can get a tank soon. Uh, it's got a giant, terrifying professor head like the, the dog had back in area 2, 3, whichever the desert was. Oh, got the tank. 
and lost the tank. I like that the professor had uh, shoot school gems. I think we had the tank when I fell. Uh, just my luck. All right. Ah, damn. Got hit by that crossfire. We got our little showstopper ability back. Let's see if we can actually use it to not die. There we go. Just slide on down there. Don't have to worry about the enemies. Mm. I thought I killed you. Wait until the damn it. I was gonna say I wanted to wait until the professor's head went up so I didn't have to worry about accidentally jumping into it, but of course that enemy there just had to ruin my fun. <clears throat> the crossfire in that area is just so mean, I swear. Just wanted to deal with that. That way, I didn't actually accidentally get hit by him. So I can focus more on the space squids. All right, go down here, and we've made it to the boss. First things first. Go into the bags. The bags have a lot of tokens in them, so you can refresh on your abilities and also maybe get a one-up or two if you have a tank going into this fight. It's also a little bit of a breathing space area, so if you need to take a minute to just collect yourself during this fight, then this is definitely the space for you. Professor just flies around in circles, shoots bombs at you, and just basically just want to just try to get him into a circle. Come on, I got a show for you. Ah, damn it. All right, back into the bag we go. Ah, of course. Maybe I should have probably just leveled up Felix since we got the tank. I feel like t tank probably would have been a better option for this fight. Is there any more bags so I can at least get the car? Nope, we gotta rely on our little showstopper. But so long as I keep him going in like a little circle like this, and of course I get hit as soon as I say that, I was gonna say we'd have this fight in the bag. That's a pretty mean of the location of the checkpoint because it drops you off all the way back here. Couldn't be right before where you had to drop in for the boss fight. No. Oh, God. It had to be all the way back here. Hang on, Professor. I'll be right with you. Just got to pick up a few things. All right, now I'm ready for you. Where are you? There you are. Ah, damn it. No, nope. going for a tank. Lobbing shots are definitely your best friend for this kind of fight. Oh, wait. Alright, fine. Got no more power-ups for a tank. 
gonna have to rely on our trusty car instead. And that is game, folks. As we can see by the look on Felix's face, he did not take too kindly to the professor's antics in this game. Or in his boss fight. And there's Kitty. Congratulations! At last, Felix! You rescued Kitty! I love you, Felix! Now untie me! Are you gonna untie me? Are you, are you gonna... Felix, are you, you gonna untie me? No, you're just gonna leave me tied up? Alright, but we better be stopping for McDonald's on the way back. Anyways, folks, that was Felix the Cat. And honestly, I kind of want to play through it again, but this time with only using the boxing glove. Which means, no laughing Felix, no other upgrades, and a very limited amount of one-ups because I can only get them from the professor heads. But hey, I had a fun time playing through this, and I definitely would like to check out more games that Hudson did for the NES, and maybe even other earlier consoles, because they all couldn't be bad, right? There has to be some that are at least this quality. I mean, they really did prove themselves with the Mario Party series, so who knows? Anyways, I'm out. Take care, everybody.